Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the n- other episode that you're now, um... Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the facade broke early. Well, I... Welcome back to the Super Mega Cast. It's episode 191. 91. What is it, Matt? Uh, well, I mean, that opening bit... No, as in, like, what is it? What is 191? Oh, it's a palindrome. Exactly. Anyways, what were you about I was to say? gonna say that opening bit, you were like a like a fighter jet pilot. <laughs> the bit was the... the plane and it started going down you just ejected <laughs> yeah oh man dude i can you imagine how like in a fighter jet when you eject how what that feels like because you've seen the videos those dudes shoot out at like a million miles per hour <laughs> yeah all their skin flies off yeah they got to go pick it up off the ground <laughs> they got to run around with no skin on to try to find the pieces to smack back on how the fuck are you my man i'm doing pretty good i'm, I'm doing i'm doing great and that's great i uh i'm doing i'm doing great as well because uh I just beat Doom Eternal last night. Well, technically like two in the morning or whatever, but wow. you know, it, Dude. it's a good game. I recommend it. it it's uh, the sequel to the 2016 Doom that came out. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. I don't even, did I speak about, what? I don't know. Dude, I I wonder if I spoke about Doom 2016 in our podcast or in, like way, unless, way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I like that game as well. But this one, this one just. Oh, it's it was good. so much fun. Yeah, there was only one part that kind of like pissed me off where I was like, this ruins the game. And then I stopped being a little bitch boy. Nice. And uh, I learned how to deal with that specific enemy and I beat him uh, the first try throughout the rest of the campaign. It's this enemy called the Marauder. He, he gets in your face and he has a hell dog that he can spawn from his shield that he blocks all of your bullets with. And if you get close to him, he'll pull out a shotgun and Damn. shoot you. <laughs> Dude, I def- I defeated the fucking icon of sin, bro. Beat his ass, man. Yeah, I beat my kids last night, so kind of on this kind of a similar feeling. Yeah, um, that's fucking sick, man. I've never played it. Do- I want to play the original Doom. I love. I just love the 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 look of it. Like just the the gun is just a two D sprite. Didn't we play one of them? No, we played Duke Nukem. Oh yeah. The- Christmas edition. Which we is should the play the engine. original Doom. I did because I do like Doom 2016 and uh, Doom Eternal. I I know there's what Doom One, Doom Two, Doom 64, and Doom Three are like the games. Are you talking about the game that inspired the Columbine sh- school shootings? <laughs> is that are those what's? <laughs> That's why. Well, back in the time, a lot of people blamed uh, because because uh, those those goofballs made a map of their high school before oh. they did it in the, on a Doom engine. So oh, people wow. thought that like that game inspired Well, people thought South Park inspired it. I saw a compilation a lot of people of, think Call of Duty inspires stuff, Halo inspired, you know, it's all that. Damn, why is Which, this? if anything, I think Doom is picking up the mantle of uh, Halo, in ter- not in terms of Xboxes, uh, whatever, but in terms of sci-fi FPSs because Halo's been, Halo's been doo-doo lately, in my opinion. Okay, not like... I just think the story's been bad. But Doom, it's a fun FPS, and it's all goofy, and you're just like... My worst genre of game. It's great. It's, That's what I'm worst at. Yeah, but there's no... You don't need to really be precise in aiming in Doom, because it's all uh, hip fire. You don't, like... There's, there's one gun... You're just kind of spraying. Where he's a precision, uh, precision bolt. But yeah, you're just spraying. There's, a, there's so many different weapons you use. There's, like, rocket launchers. There's a chainsaw. Hey, hey it's our... Rupert. No, that 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 guy's shorter than Rupert. Is that different? That that's another guy. Sorry, there's another. So I didn't mean to interrupt you, Ryan. No, it's I fine. Saw him running Honestly, around the wall. what I'm saying isn't intriguing or important because not that many people care. I just really enjoyed the game, and I'm so hyped about it. I'm going through the getting all the collectibles, or I'm going to try to. Um, and uh, yeah, but you know, Fuck yeah, my man. It's a good. It's a really good game that came out the same day as Animal Crossing. If I had any gaming skills, I would. I would definitely try it out. My thing is, I just play those and I just get so frustrated with myself. Not, not with the game. The I don't game get, makes you I don't get feel mad at like the game. You're... I get frustrated myself because I'm so bad. I promise you, you would be decent at this game. I almost want to like have a, like a little one-off episode of Super Mega where it's like Matt play Doom. It's fun, and you can play. The thing is. Do not be afraid of even playing on the lowest difficulty because the game is supposed to make you feel like a fucking god. I saw something on on uh, the subreddit Unpopular Opinion recently that I I I it resonated with me. Come on, give us your unpopular opinion. It was something up till now that you've been to this. Age. Stop. <laughs> it was this guy who was like, I enjoy playing on the easiest difficulty of games because I'm not very good and I like just being able to. 
blast through things and and accomplish things. And I was like, that's how I feel. No. I like playing on these difficulty, but I always feel guilty for doing it. Matt, usually like I, I'm pl I play everything on normal, usually my first go around. But if it's a game that I'm not too interested in that I got on Game Pass and I just kind of want to experience the story, I will play on the easiest game mode and just kind of like blast through it and experience it. But the thing is, I, I've also learned that a part of the a part of the reason that keeps me playing is somewhat of a challenge. Like I can't just be like mowing through things easily, or else oh, yeah, I'll you like a challenge. Bored. There has to be some sort of challenge. So that's why I think normal is always good. But for me, uh, even though I'm I'm still pretty bad. But dude, if you want to get into games, I 100% support uh, setting it to the lowest difficulty. Question: Would you trust? Mm -hmm. Your life in my hands if uh, Julian puts a gun to your head. Julian. 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 Yeah, that Julian. Yeah. And puts a gun to your head and says, Matt has to go. Why would I put a gun against his head? I put my cock against it. <laughs> Is he uh, Yoda? Yeah, he's Yoda now. <laughs> uh, I put my cock against his head. Mm. Cock against his head I put. Mm. Smegma appears. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wipe, wipe on face I will. Uh mm. No, no. If if I had to go two hundred for an eighth, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I go head to head with with Ding Dong in just a video game competition, and if he wins, then you get shot in the head. Would you, I, would you trust me? I'm dead, dude. I'm probably the worst gamer compared I, to. That's Ding one of those Dong. moments where like this is a really fucked up thing, but I'm like, what? I thought of this one night when I was high. I was like, what if my dad like was he was challenged to like beat a call of duty campaign on the hardest difficulty within a week's time and i'm like or else i'd i'd be shot in the head i'd in that moment i think i would just be like i have to accept the fact that i'm dying so have a little faith in him <laughs> i know have a little faith in him <laughs> you know your dad has faith in you, man. You gotta have faith in your dad. Or like go into Call he, of go go into Call of Duty multiplayer and within a twenty four hour period be the top in the leaderboards in a multiplayer match. Tell me this, Ryan. Did he or did he not used to play the Rocket Power? Game? He did. He so did. He's got some gaming he did. experience. He, he not only played that. He he played Silphied, uh, which is like kind of like the shooter, uh, space shooter game. Top Shooting, down. see. He, uh, what did he do specifically in the uh, rocket power game? Because he was there was a mini game he liked, right? He was it was the tar it was like where you shoot these balls out of a cannon at these targets. That's not that different pier. from Call of Duty, is it? You're right. I mean, I th he could learn. I think I in know. a week. He could I don't do know. It. I just feel like there's this there's this things where there's this thing where like you grow up with a game, and so you kind of learn the general uh, mechanics of your generation, and like now, like. I don't know. That's why I feel like kids are so good at Fortnite and shit because they're growing up with it. And when I was a kid, I just spent so much time on like Halo, Call of Duty. These kids are too good. Or just whatever game I was, I would just play it over and over again until like uh, I was I could just do it with a blindfold on essentially. But now I just I definitely don't feel as good as I was. But I don't know if that's also nostalgia ringing in my ear. And also like when I was a kid, I also didn't finish a lot of games. I just would play through a level a lot. Like yeah. in um. I, yeah, as I said, I never beat Donkey Kong 64 because I was too afraid to go because it was it started the rain in that area and thunder and I got scared. <laughs> and I was like, I can't do it. He's just, If there's something big in there, I, I think I'm going to have nightmares. I love it. I love <laughs> it. That's great. I had a nightmare the other night because I watched about these big balls on your face. Get them off. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just stop it, man. Just get those get that nutsack off my effing face. <sighs> I had a nightmare because I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre in movies like don't ever give me nightmares. Mm, I'm not but. interested. Uh, as I was saying, I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding, go on. Yeah, anyway, back to my dad <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> I, uh, it's a good fucking movie, man. I've never I bet, seen it. I bet our friend Layton has a tattoo. Uh, yeah, and guess what? I actually, I got pissed off. Why? Because it's such a good tattoo? Because it's the final shot of the movie. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's the final shot. It's spoiled. So I, I halfway through, I realized that I'm like, oh, Layton's tattoo is the final shot of this. And then it clicked and I knew exactly what was going to happen. And I was like, well, so you were, fuck. So you were scared. You're like, oh, she could die. Yeah. And then I see Layton's tattoo. I remember Layton's tattoo. I'm like, oh, so I know I know how this movie ends now. And I was act I was legitimately a little bit angry for a second. I was like, I understand wanting I, it's a good tattoo. I like it. But I'm like, does it have to be the, the spoiler of the movie? So. 
Well, it was, and uh, you, you were spoiled. It was a great movie, though. Fantastic. It was very graphic. Uh, really, really, really fucking good movie, dude. My, my movie watching endeavors haven't been as uh, high class, unfortunately. The trilogy hasn't it? I, I I don't think I can watch the third one. I saw it once in. Where they go to Bangkok? No, no, no. The third one is just the one with John Goodman, and it has nothing to do with them being hungover. Wait, what? It, it's really? just this weird kind of drug deal thing. I don't know. It's weird. I just watched a John Goodman movie. I watched uh, Big Lebowski. Ah, that's a good movie. I watched uh, Hangover Part. Well, yeah, Part One and Two. Part One's good. I like Part One and Part Two. I don't know. I'm entertained by it. I think uh, Part One. I have also like a. St- like a connection to it with in terms of nostalgia because uh, I remember driving down a specific highway in South Carolina and being in the passenger seat. My dad's driving. We're trying to think of a movie. I see all oh, the hangovers out. I'm reading movies out and like I kind of skip the hangover and I'm reading out movies because, you know, it's rated R, mm. you know. My dad's like, isn't that hangover movie out? And I was like, are you sure? It's rated R. He's like, I mean... I mean, I'm okay with it. I, I mean, do you want to? Is that something you want to see? And I'm like, okay. So it was like this, like one of the first R-rated movies I got to experience with my dad, where it was like that thing where you're embarrassed because of how crude it is, but also, but you're also like you're Whoa. laughing together. And you're like, you're like, you're like, like, you're like, like you go watch dad, Jackass with yeah, your dad. You know, my, my dad's seen these gross things and laughing too. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh shit, things that I would get in trouble for. I know. Yeah. It's 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 just a great. Uh, it was just a great kind of movie going experience for me personally because I was so young. And it, it was just a fun, good time in the theater. And I still think it holds up as kind of like a, a fun comedy. Mm-hmm. And the second one is... They go to is a, Bangkok, right? It's a, it's a copy of the first one. It's definitely darker and cruder in tone. And I think it, it it's a lot uh, filthier and disturbing and just disgusting. All these adjectives, you know? Well, Thailand's a disgusting, filthy place. I know, dude. Uh, Bangkok has them now. That's what they say throughout the movie. Ah, well... You got 24 hours, and if you don't find him after that, Bangkok has him. That's what Paul Giamatti says in it. He's in the movie, <laughs> by the way. Was he blue? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish he just was blue. <laughs> Wait, Let's wait, watch that soon. Wait, when he played, I want to watch that soon. Wait, when he played uh, that role, they put the paint on him, and it turns out it was permanent by accident. So he's like, oh, I'm stuck blue even after the movie. So every other movie he's in after that, he was blue. Don't, don't remember, they also put like orange or red in his hair dye, so he looked even more goofy. What if he just committed, and that was his look, like his personal look for the rest of his life? <laughs> Everyone would be like, oh, like Paul, him Paul and la- the blue guy. Him yeah. and Lady in the Water. Yeah. <laughs> just blue with the, uh, he looks like the, uh. Um, the uh, the girl from fucking what's it? What is it? The what? Uh, fucking shit. Wait, what do you? Well, fuck, what? Fantastic Four she, or whatever the superhero? She's blue and has. Uh, what are you talking? Orange about? Orange eyebrows and orange hair. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence, Mystique and yes. X Men. Yes. Who's Mystique and X Men? Well, I, that's just what he reminds me of. He's like the male version of Mystique. Who's the male version of Mystique? Paul Giamatti was oh. blue okay, with the, okay. what we were just talking about. Okay, okay. Sorry, it's just a weird connection. I get it now. I get yeah. it. He's like her stepdad or dad in like the universe of where those species exist. If I could, pick, Except it's not a species. It's a mutant. It's a mutation. If I could pick one place to go back to right now in quarantine. Fuck Japan, dude. I want to go to Thailand. Really? I've never been. So I go to Japan because I missed out on a trip. I was supposed to go to Japan with some friends and a uh, trip fell through. So fuck me. Damn. I was good, you know, reservations at, uh, what is it, Osaka? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it called? Is that what it is? What's know. what? Your mama. Dude, are you serious, <laughs> man? Gotcha. What, the nice sushi place? Yeah. Which one? Omakas? No, what is it? Yeah, the nice sushi place. The one we went to? Yeah. Cube? Yeah, there's Cube, but like what they call it. Like the, oh. s- the special, like it's um, it's, 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 oh, it's, it's Omakase? Oh, omo, omo, omokaze or, or something like that. I don't know. It just means uh, Osaka is like a place. Yeah, Osaka is a, Osaka's a Omakase city. Omakase is the dish stuff. I don't know. All I know is it's fucking delicious and I love it. Man, it's bothering me now. Dude. I ordered sushi recently, and I'm like, oh, I miss it so much. I've not had sushi in months, but you know, it's not like going out to a sushi bar. People, people really still label me as as stupid. Me too. Well, they, yeah, a lot of people do that. Uh, people, I'm la- people no, label we... me as Matt Weebu Watson, but <sighs> is it really that true anymore? You know, that's up for the fans to decide. I guess so. I just, I don't. 
You don't get to decide your own image, Matt. See, other people Here do I am that trying to control you. my public image, but I'm going to hire a PR firm just to get rid of the weeaboo image. Matt, you don't control what you're interested in. The fans do. That's true. I have no... The fans have... I have no say in my own personal <laughs> likes or interests. Your personality is just a, a giant figment of the collective of every fan's imagination. I like that. You guys control my life. I like it a lot. It feels good. Yeah. I great. also... um. Fuck, what other movie did I watch that I wanted to talk to you about? I watched The Beach Bomb. Yeah, you told me to watch it. So and I good. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. I, had I was to hoping get... you would so we could talk about it on the podcast. I'm sorry. So I, look I at that. Now there's no conversation and I'm done talking for the rest of the podcast. No, you're not, Matt. It's a great movie. Really good. I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It, uh, I, I love Harmony Kareen. Who? Harmony Kareen. Kareen? Is it is Korean? That the director? Yeah. Okay. He directed uh Spring Breakers. Spring Breakers. I really want to see uh Gummo or Gumo. I don't know how you say it. Uh that's like one of his first movies. And the tra- I watched the trailer and I was like, this looks fucking awesome. He also directed a whole movie that's like shot on like a shitty camcorder, like the whole thing. Ooh. But it looks really good. It's called uh Julian Donkey Boy. I have it on Blu-ray, but I've never seen it. But it's I really, I really liked the beach bomb. Matthew McConaughey did a really, really fantastic job. He's fucked up the whole movie. Had some really sad parts. A lot of really good music in it. A lot of good music montages. Who's another famous star in it? I'll Jonah only, Hill. Only, okay, that has to be. That have to be three people I know in it. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence is in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'll see it. There's more. There, has, there have to be three famous people is, I know in a movie. Is La Fisher to watch it? Huh? Is, La, is La Fisher? <laughs> yeah, I she's know a main her. character. Yeah, she's married to Borat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Snoop Dogg is a main character. Also married to Borat. I, I did think that's weird how Sasha Baron Cohen did the three-way relationship with them. Um, there's a lot of famous people in it. Because uh, yeah. it, it's harming Sasha Baron Cohen's relationship? No, in The Beach Bomb. Yeah. Who else is in it? Fuck. Uh, um, Jimmy Buffett's in it. <laughs> is he? Yeah. What? Snoop Dogg and Jimmy Buffett are both in it. Like, Snoop Dogg's a, a main character. Um, whoa. As Snoop Dogg? Or a, just like... As an alter version of himself. It's it's literally... He is literally, Dave Chappelle in it? No. He is Dave Snoop Dogg in the movie. Dave he just Chappelle goes by a different Dallas. name. No, he wasn't. He was in um the Brad the oh, what's Bradley Cooper movie? The one where his Lady Gaga. I never saw it. This I know what you're talking one about. One where he sings a song and she sings a song on piano. And then and then Dave Chappelle's like, "You're following your dreams, motherfucker. You straight bitch." And then he goes on stage really drunk and yells at the audience. Yeah, I, that was embarrassing. I saw that. Wait, was that a scene? No, Dave Chappelle did a stand-up uh, tour where he was just like really, really fucked up. Yeah, but you and also- And the audience was just booing him. He's like, ah, fuck you guys. <laughs> and he like left. I think it's hilarious. It was just he a could, bad look. Did you, do you know how like he's done like hours after, like consecutive hours of sets at like comedy bars? Rumor has it up to like 10 hour sets and shit. Really? Just going off. Wait, Dave Chappelle has done like 10 hour sets? Yeah, just like at small comedy clubs, just standing up there, what? going up, and people just go, they're at, yeah. That's insane. I got I got that's props. I mean, I'm the fact that, that you're up. able to stand there for 10 hours and come up with that much. I love Dave Chappelle, dude. I think he's, he's one of the best funny. comedians he's of our time. He's super funny. What happened to him? He kind of dipped, I guess. And he just won a big award. He won the Mark Twain Award or whatever. It's on, you can watch it on a... Is that the one Eddie Murphy won too? I guess, I don't know. What, what's like, Eddie Murphy won some award and then gave the the roast to Bill Cosby. Why was I looking, I was looking up Dave Chappelle for a specific reason. I'll let you remember. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, you will. Just... No, you won't. You're going to forget. And no, then... I said I'll let you remember. Yeah, but then you're going to forget by the time... I already forgot. It... Did you know it when you no, gave No, I know what it is. I know it in my head, actually, what, you, what you're supposed to be looking up. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, it wasn't nudes. No, I wasn't, you fuck. It was date. You wanted to look up what his net worth was. <laughs> no, I didn't. You wanted to look up about his 10 hour sets. <laughs> yes. When he's lifting weights <laughs> for 10 hours straight. Because <laughs> he's so fucking he, he heads down to his Planet Fitness gym and lifts two pound weights for 10 hours. He really tones those muscles, man. It's so fucking sweet. Uh, the first came when Dave Chappelle appeared at 10.36 p.m. for an unannounced set. The second shocker, Chappelle kept telling jokes until 4.43 the next morning. Sounds like he might have been on some cocaine. 
a long okay, time. Okay, that's like six sleep. hours. I'm sorry, I said ten. Damn, it's dude. like five, six hours. It's the better half of ten, though. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Why don't you ever you ever wonder what it would be like to do this like as a radio show? Scarier. Add read alert. Add read alert. Add read alert. <laughs> well, you know how ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online, right? Yes. But here's something you might not know. You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. You are. You gotta be kidding me, man. I'm not kidding Stop. you. It's, it's a f***ing fact. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, it's only a matter of time until you run out of stuff to watch on Netflix. So this whole week, I've been using ExpressVPN to binge Doctor Who on UK. Okay, Netflix. And Ryan's been watching Rick and Morty on Netflix France. He turns himself to a fucking pickle, dude. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. And you wouldn't know that if you if you hadn't used ExpressVPN to watch I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Netflix France. I, I know, it's great. Matt, and you love anime. Everyone knows Matt loves anime. You can use ExpressVPN to access Japanese Netflix and be spirited away. Whoa! But it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service. Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, and YouTube. Wait, not just Netflix? Yeah, yeah, not just Netflix. What? And YouTube's my favorite, actually, because uh, sometimes you hit a video and it's like video blocked in your country. Oh, ExpressVPN yeah. will let you watch it. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason we here at Super Mega use ExpressVPN to watch shows is because it's ridiculously fast, it's the most trusted name, there's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD with no problem. ExpressVPN is also compatible with all of your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. So you can watch what you want on a personal device or on the big screen wherever you are. So if you visit our special link right now at expressvpn.com slash supermega, you can get an extra not one, not two, three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's a three-month free trial. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself with ExpressVPN from those scary hackers at expressvpn.com slash supermega. That's expressvpn.com slash supermega. Links in the description. Support for that super mega cast is brought to you by Manscaped the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Oh. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools oh. for your family jewels. Oh. One time I cut my balls with a knife trying to shave, and I thought, never again shall I use such a stupid tool. That's when I went to Manscaped. Their blades are amazing, and my balls ever the more smooth. They are smooth. I've actually, I felt them. I can, I can attest for that. Uh, Manscaped has, has turned me from a disgusting Neanderthal into a suave, sophisticated gentleman. And that's why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. The Manscaped engineering team spent 18 whole months perfecting the greatest Whoa. ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved lawnmower 3.0 which they were nice enough to send us uh. and i have used it and it's amazing why is it amazing ryan well matt because their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents millions of balls are about to be nick free thanks to manscapes advanced skin safe technology and if your name's nick sorry Manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. And when we tell you this is premium, boy, do we mean premium. The battery lasts up to 90 minutes, so you can take a longer so, shave. That's, that's an hour and a half, Matthew. Yeah, and you can shave your nuts for an hour and a half. And one of the coolest features is the LED light, which illuminates grooming areas for a closer and more precise trimming. It's like having a spotlight right on my Johnson. They've also upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. And let's not forget about the charging stand. Show your mower off loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is a convenient charging dock powered by USB. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to us speak right now, we want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Trim that junk of yours! Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Remember, 20% off? Just uh, free shipping. Use code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Thank you. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code SUPERMEGA20 in the description. There's Julian, or, uh, Rupert, or whatever the spider's- is Rupert, Rupert. There's a spider, yeah, he's going on the wall right there. What kind of spider is that? You guys remember on the last- That's pod? not no- Oh, that's not the same spider, you're right, that's a different spider. Yeah, that's, that's a bigger spider. No, that's a tinier one. The, the body's bigger, though. The body is bigger, yes. The legs are smaller. Rupert, right, Rupert's the long one? Yeah, but I don't see him anywhere. No, he, he probably went, he went down, he's probably just in the cobwebs down there. I don't know what he's doing. What is, dude, that's, that spider looks like that one, that one could bite you, maybe. Oh, he's going, dude, he's going on the- Should I smush this Look one? at him. No. 
Is he, Maybe. Is this one our enemy? No, it's bad luck to kill a spider. He's catching but I mean, we could put him, there's an empty cup on the Have table. Have you seen spider nests, though? How many spiders Dude, spawn from it a must, spider nest? It must be fucking spider season right now. Because in my house... There are so many of like that type of spider and that type, like just like they in my bathroom, there's spiders. two of them. There's, I saw one in my room. There's spiders all over and they're all over here. I think it must be spider my fucking My thing season. is a cockroach every few months. <sighs> and I, whenever that moment is, I'm like, ah! Yes. I saw the very first cockroach in my house ever. When? Uh, a couple weeks ago. It was in Jackson's bathroom. Did you have to take care of it? Was it? No, no. Did you tell someone about it and they took care of it, Matt? No, Jackson's girlfriend found it and uh, started screaming and I came in and I saw it with my own two eyes. And it's the first time I ever saw a cockroach in my house because this whole time I've been living in security of there are no cockroaches in my house. I can rest easy. Dude, I, there are so many cockroaches. There, there's, there's at least a cockroach in every house in America, I bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. The, well, what Maybe sucks not, I mean, is yeah. what they say is if you see one, that means there's a lot more. Yeah. So when I saw it, I'm like, fuck. Didn't see any more after that. And the reason I think it might be there is because my landlord usually schedules the exterminator to come by like every month or something. Mm -hmm. But I think because of quarantine, that hasn't happened. Oh, really? I, someone else staying at my house a long time ago said they saw a mouse in uh, our old den, which is now Jackson's room. But no way. We've ne they said they saw a mouse one night, but I have never once... None of us have ever seen a mouse. We've never seen droppings. We've never heard anything. I see rats, not not in my place, but like on the fences around like the alleyway. <laughs> I've seen that. Shit. They look so. You see the silhouette them running across the top of the fence. Yep. I saw a coyote the other night, just trotting down the street. Just like he looked so chipper. Just <laughs> Mama Possum again. I saw last night. Oh, you saw her? Mm -hmm. The she, mother of little David. Yep. Just went right back under her little her little mini shed house, whatever. Shut it. It's hers saying. now. Um. Yeah, my the the could kid, have been David. I'm kidding. Could, he, he didn't grow that. He's full. been lifting weights and drinking protein. <laughs> the kittens are doing great. They're all very I alert now. Okay. Well, let's talk about something else then. No, because then the comments will be like, "I wanted to hear about Max." God, Ryan was a dick this episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're they're they can't fully walk yet, but they're they're kind of crawling around, and all their eyes are open, and they're very alert. So like, if I'll. Uh, I moved them. They're all in a little closet now in my hallway. So if I open the door and look at them, I'll see them all just go. <laughs> just look up. Uh, and they're all, they all started licking each other. Like, they just learned how to lick. And I think they do it just because their mom does it. Better so they're just holding like, them all the time so they get used to being in oh, I am. hands. My favorite, I so figured they'll, out. They'll just be like. Figured out which one's my favorite. It's the it's the runt. It's the little white one because it's just so little. And she's always, it's a girl. She's always sleepy. And she doesn't ever, like, fuss. There's one that fusses. Is it the one with the colored ears? No, there's one that's orange. Nah, I will say, yeah. If you if you if you train them, I'm I'm t looking at all possibilities right now. I don't know when I'd ever make a decision. They're gonna be socialized. They're gonna be very social. But but I'm I I don't know. I might I don't know if but I want to get check. Lego a buddy or something. I don't know. Remember Lego with banana? Lego loved playing with them. I mean, fuck cats, but there are certain cats that are amazing. Well, we're trying to raise these cats to be very friendly, and the and Lego would have a. A, a cat to stuff in his mouth all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> he used to stuff banana's head in his mouth, like all the way. And then banana's head would be all wet. Uh, but basically the little run is a little white one uh, that looks like an alien because it's little and its eyes are so big and like far apart. She learned how to, she start, they're starting to groom themselves. She was cleaning her paw. Oh, they're they're getting to know. I, I remember looking at the cameras with you when they were just kind of like, they couldn't even move. They were just stagnant. It looked like they were just all had rigor mortis because they just didn't really move much. It looked like a bunch of dead hamsters. It looked like a bunch of shitty animatronics. Because I got them literally a day or two after they were born. They, she had just given birth. And I don't think that she's super feral because she's kind of like a nice, nicer breed of cat. Mm -hmm. And she's a flame point Siamese, which apparently are, it's a more rare, nicer breed. So I, I just don't know what a flame point Siamese would be doing out on the streets of Long Beach. Yeah, I feel like she had to belong to someone. Also, she's not super mean. She's very protective and she'll hiss at me, but like she's not as mean as like you would think a feral cat would be with babies. Yeah. So I wonder if she was someone's cat that got pregnant and then like escaped to have the babies because she wanted to go somewhere else to do it. And someone out there is like, I was so excited for my cat to give birth. I loved her so much. But now she's at a YouTuber's house. Mm -hmm. But She's safe. Rest assured. She's getting great treatment. Got her a heating pad. Giving her treats every day. Lots of food. Treating her kittens all nice. Mm -hmm. They haven't started shitting yet, and it's gonna suck when they do. It's gonna smell really. That's bad. right. What do they? They just usually just pee. They, they don't, don't have a little diarrhea or pee. anything. 
They don't pee or poop. What? Nah, for the first part of their life, they don't. Really? They take all the nutrients, I think. Damn. And then they start shitting. The mom has to teach them how to shit. She massages their like stomach muscles. Really? Teach them to shit, and then she eats the shit to get the nutrients back. Ew. I didn't know that shit. Wait, yeah. what? She eats the shit to get the nutrients she back. She pushes the shit out like toothpaste from her children's butts and eats it for the nutrients. Yeah, come on, you tell me Cecile never did that. <laughs> no, I could promise you not. We They cut that off after her mom's generation, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, their cats are still doing it. And it's a... Uh, I'm excited for... I'm not excited. It's going to smell bad. But... <laughs> Speaking of things they cut off in generations, man, I love it when like my she dad gonna was have a, a poop mustache after eating. No, some she's poop. not gonna have a. No, you're gonna go. Oh shit! Hey, you're gonna tell, you're gonna do the motion to wipe her lips. She's gonna go. Oh, whoops! Cats don't have lips. Her her nose. Gotcha, gotcha, bitch. Cats don't have lips. You fucking. <laughs> you sound like a fucking idiot. Um, remember they used to they used to like spank and paddle kids in school. When my dad my dad used to have to go get paddled at the front. Yeah, I bet he did. Yeah, he did. Dude. Yeah, he was a bad boy. superintendent, a bad baby. Little boy. And like, Ooh. I smacked my hand on the microphone. That hurt. Damn, little Dale. You've been a bad boy today. Yes, I have. <laughs> your, your dad. <laughs> just like just like his just like his uh legs fidgeting and twisting and he's running his finger through his bald spot yes i have i have been is my dad been bald since he was a kid <laughs> yeah i've been a bad little boy a bald little fat boy mm. <laughs> and my dad was never fat <laughs> but he said that he would get he'd be he'd smart off to the teachers and they'd send him to the front and they'd get the paddle and the paddle had holes in it so it hurt extra bad and they'd he'd go, smart pow, off to pow. the teachers then they jay off into his mouth that's that's child's that's abuse not when it's dale with dale it's hot it's still pedophilia. <laughs> nah, still. your dad's a man. Well, not back then, but he's a man now. Oh, I guess that's fine. Yeah. So it's just funny in retro. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny now. Yeah, but Dale's Dale's doing. I haven't talked to Dale in a while. I don't really uh care for the man that much because he's a piece of shit. Yeah. God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I talked to my dad the other day. I love Dale. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. We do have to every now and then be like, no, oh, we're kidding. Because a lot of people can be like, <laughs> he really hates us. And then I imagine if my dad were to somehow hear this, he'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, we're, we are, I'll contradict a lot of what I say. We're, we're definitely not clear on when we're joking. I love my father. But who cares? And I talked to him the other night. Hi. A very hot conversation, very hot and heavy conversation. That's damn. Mm hmm Was he, was he touching himself? Uh, yeah. You know, that Madonna song where she goes, when I think about was he you, was he circling his soul. finger around his prostate, teasing it going in a little bit as as he heard your voice and heard the vibrations of your voice? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're so good at taking a bit and then <laughs> stretching a little bit too far. <laughs> oh, I it's like, oh, all right, okay. <laughs> At first, it's like, oh, horny with my dad. And then you, you go into graphic detail. My father fingering his anus for, for to stimulate his prostate to the sound of my voice. Through, through the vibrations of your voice. Because you have such a deep voice. No, what I, I'll tell you what he did. He has a little Bluetooth headpiece that he, and he takes it off and sticks it up his ass. <laughs> so then when I talk, I'm talking directly into his ass and you can feel the vibrations of his son's voice. You go, hey there, little prostate. The prostate. Oh, just stop, stop, stop. <laughs> There's only so much I can bear to think about sexually with my father. But Matthew, you wrote a damn song about it. Yeah, I did. And yeah. I'm stuck with that for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can't wait until I'm 40 and that's and I'm just like, oh, fuck, I cannot let my, my kids hear this. You should play it at his funeral. That's not, I'll do a live version, like next to his open <laughs> casket. And then give him a kiss on the lips. Like, ooh, I'm in love with my dad. Sucking my dad's toes and grabbing his And sack. actually do the actions that's going on. Like suck my dead dad's toes. <laughs> and. His casket. Well, and. And. You can't get, I don't think you can get hard when you got rigor mortis. You said his sack. Not his shaft. That's true. That's true. I could suck his shaft right there at the visitation. I mean his sack, not his shaft. Yeah. Getting confused over here. Come on, get, get your lyrics together. I know them. I forget all my own lyrics. I feel like Britney Spears over here. I remember when I was a kid, I, I read about like Britney Spears or someone had forgotten their own lyrics on stage. And I was like, what a fucking idiot. But looking back, I'm like, I, I, that would, I, I would 
forget my own lyrics on stage. I've been to shows where the sometimes singer they, they probably they get kind of like in the uh, moment. They do it all the time, so they're just living life. Because when you're living that lifestyle, you're touring a lot, so you're busy. You're on the road, so it kind of your everyday life seeps into when you're on stage. So you could be drunk or maybe high. You'll probably go on stage. You'll be like, shit, fuck. You know how many artists fuck up? Uh, you can probably look it up on YouTube and compilations and shit of like artists drunk on stage. Oh my, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen high it real life. on stage. I saw this band like blitzed, just fucked. I saw this one, uh, band called ice age. I've seen them twice. And the first time was the singer was so fucked up he uh it's it's sky sky ferrera's boyfriend and he was on stage and he was so fucked that there was one point where he was just drool, there was just drool while he was singing <laughs> come out of his mouth and he was falling over and he was like kept falling on the mic was he on beat no he sang flawlessly he didn't mess up a single word but he was just <laughs> fucked up well the type of music it's already like <laughs> but he he was just so you could see it in his eyes. Like, I don't even know if he was drunk. He might have been, like, fucked up on multiple substances. But then the second time I saw him, he was even more wasted. And this was this time was in L.A. And he fell off stage at one point. He just fell. And then, like, they kept playing. And he just gets back up. And he's like, and just kept singing. It was great. Really good performer. But he's, it's like, I can't imagine going on tour and getting that fucked up. Every you and I get drunk on stage. I think the most drunk I've ever gotten was our... What, was the there was a drunk drawing we did that was a specific drunk drawing and I think it was the one in Los Angeles. Is it the one with Ross? Yes, I think I was. We all. Well, I think you, that's when you and Ross smoked a, a blunt before. Yeah. So you also were. Uh, we did not only not only did Ross drink an entire bottle of wine on stage plus some more. He smoked a whole blunt right before. So yeah, that was the worst I've ever seen Ross. Or I, I guess I'll say the best because he I was got pretty drunk on tour at the. Um, Oh, I don't know what sh which show it was. Well, I think, yeah, the most fucked up I got was in Philly. That was the last show of our tour. That was a fun show. Yeah, I just remember not just being like, yeah, I'll just get wine drunk. But we got real, I got really drunk in that show. My favorite thing about that venue was that there's just two massive concrete pillars in the middle of the <laughs> yeah. crowd. So it's just like, hey, everyone's sitting behind that. Fuck you. You're not going to see anything. There, it was funny. Like, we, we would do large like huge venues and then there would be some places where we were given kind of like the kitchen but they would just pack people in and i do f i feel really you know bad. what i mean like that there's this one place where where was it it was i i like the venue because of how small pittsburgh. it was it was in pittsburgh pittsburgh and where i, I was like really i know but then we because, it was well, fucking awesome it was because we were surprised because it was supposed to fit 200 people or something like more that. like i think that they, they i think there were about 300 there was a bigger theater people. that they're like we we thought we could put y'all in here but we decided to put you in the other one or something like it's that like, yeah i mean there's 315 people or something coming to the show and i did feel bad for uh Several shows because we don't know anything about the venues or what it's going to be like before we get there. So when people – when I see that there's people that have to stand in the back and like don't actually have a seat, I hate that because that's not something we're aware of ahead of time. Yeah. If we're just told like, oh, a venue has – like this is the capacity. Like this is the amount of tickets we're going to sell. I'm like, OK, cool. And I'm assuming that's like, oh, everyone will get a seat. And mm -hmm. then Pittsburgh, there are people crammed in the back all standing. And I just felt – I feel bad because it's hot and it's like you thought you were going to get a seat. And then Nashville – we come out and everyone's just everyone's standing, and I'm yeah. like, "Whoa, this isn't a concert." I, th I think we, we definitely great, made a joke about it. Yeah, yeah, we're like, you guys are supposed throughout. to bring your own chair. But the thing is, uh, I gotta say, Nashville was one of my favorite shows. Nashville was really fun, though. It was like, was it a first one or one of our first ones? One of them on the Southeast tour, yeah. and uh, Nashville. Even though everyone was standing, the energy was just so so much yeah. fun. I, I did like uh, Orlando. Orlando was fun. That, that I like I liked venue. Orlando's venue. I don't I don't like Orlando itself. No, I I I despise I, not despise. I don't like Orlando as a place. I just have a weird fondness for it, and I don't know why. I can't explain it. It just send me there right now, and I'd be like, "Fuck this place." Play. Yeah, because like I don't know. There's Disney World, which it's is hot. fun. It's muggy. There's Universal Studios Orlando, which is nice and fun. I good think, time with the family. I think Orlando just. Uh, I have like there's just some wire in my brain that's like just makes me think of of that excitement you would get around May when the school year's ending and in, like summer's coming that feeling makes me think of Orlando because I'm like oh we're gonna go probably deep rooted with Disney World Orlando feels like 
a place where the like a, a movie with a plot where a whole area gets kind of brainwashed into acting kind of like creepy and just normal. Like everything's going all right in Orlando. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like everything's going fine in Orlando. Nothing to worry about over here. Then it's like, there's like a gator eating some kid who's like brainwashed. He's like, Oh, Orlando's fantastic. I love it here. Got some good gator. Make a good movie about Orlando. Orlando, I love you, Orlando, Disney and SeaWorld. Let's move to Orlando. Let's no. Super nope. to Orlando. No. No. Yes. No. No. no well, no, you, no. you wouldn't move it to Maui. I said, let, <laughs> I said let's move Super Mega to Hawaii. You're like, no. <laughs> no, so you want, I'm not moving to Hawaii. You won't do Hawaii. You won't do Orlando. You got to <laughs> pick one, dude. Why can't we just, I mean, I'm not sure if I want to stay in LA forever. It's really expensive, and I feel you know there's other great cities one can live, such as I don't know Seattle. No, I don't want to live in Seattle. I want to live in San Fran. It's just expensive. I'd live. I would live in that area, but not San Francisco, like the Bay Area. Yeah, the Bay Area. It would be really cool to go live there, but that's also expensive as shit because you're talking about that's. Uh, Fucking Google Place Valley, whatever it's called, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. All those tech bros. Yeah, I saw. I saw all the tech bros when I was in San Fran. What is that sound? Yard work. Oh, the neighbors doing their yard. Yes, it is. Yes, it also is. a leaf blower. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you notice that this shit doesn't happen except when we're recording the fucking podcast? Like, I'll be here all day and no one turns on a goddamn leaf blower. <laughs> Why are you looking at me cross on? <laughs> no one turns on a goddamn leaf blower, but the second it's like, let's record our podcast. He's like, <laughs> I don't know, because maybe they they love our podcast and they love listening to themselves on it. Or, or it's a conspiracy against one us. Of, one of our competitors, like Game Grumps or Misfits, <gasps> sent them over here to, 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 to turn it on while, while, while we're recording. They're like, they're, they pay. They pay these guys just to walk around with leaf blowers and shit. Yeah, I saw that uh, Game Grumps, I think, is playing Resident Evil 3. <gasps> a little too late after the game released. Stealing our thunder of playing games a little too late much. Yeah. You know what? Uh, we're going to beat you. We're going we're gonna to wait a little longer. Yeah, we're going to release Resident it later, Evil. actually. We're going to release it, I don't know, within about a week or Once so. Once all the hype is over for the game, that's yeah. when we're going to drop it. Yeah. Not, not, well, the Game Grumps hype. The hype for the game has already been done and dealt with because it released a good bit ago and it's a short game and people already played through it. Game Grumps are late to the party. Now we have to be extra fucking late to the party. Just wait until we play uh, Sonic 06, you guys. Just fucking <laughs> wait. Run away! Ooh, that leaf blower. God damn, dude. I know. Should I go tell him to suck my dick? Say, listen, man, I know that we're in a pandemic and and you were working your ass off in the California heat when just to blow some assholes driveway and support your family. Instead but of, guess what? Instead of blowing his lawn, why don't you go blow his balls so I can get some peace and quiet for this podcast? You bitch. He's going to go inside and we're going to hear. Oh, <laughs> dude, I just want to dude. I love the the fact that the mat the master. I don't know why I called him the master. The master of the, the owner. Of the, the master no, call him what he is. The master, the king of the house. You've seen him before, right? Uh, the master. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's the fucking master. There's no the, denying that. He's the short king, man. He's this fucking like super jacked, like mm, kind of young, kind of middle aged Armenian dude who's bald with always wears sunglasses, tight shirts, <laughs> yeah. drives really nice car. Uh, is renovating his house right now to have a pool yeah and a balcony so it's like this dude also his last name we get his mail sometimes his last name is insane don't say it i can't first of all i couldn't even try oh okay it, it's 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 a wild okay last american name. i'm just saying it's an insane last name he's definitely the master he okay american what the hell is that man you're an american too mm, i don't think so are you what what are you? What are you? Palestinian? <laughs> no. Yes, you are. Somewhat, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Well, I'm Israeli. A little tinkly. A little tinge. I like people that say that uh, Game Grumps is Israel and Super Mega is more Palestine. You know, that checks. There, there is a wall between us. I think uh, 
thematically that checks. Brent is Benjamin Netanyahu <laughs> with all the crimes he's committing and all his corruption. <laughs> you know? We can't get into this. What? What? Benjamin's Benjamin Netanyahu? Brent Brentjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> Dude, he, he dude, he gives us he gives us too much money for us to be talking about him like this. Yeah, you're right, man. In fact, he's been giving the money. I think that last check was so we would stop talking about him, but looks like he might God, have to that send was another. The biggest sum of money I've ever fucking, fucking seen, dude. I didn't know that my bank account could have that many zeros. Dude, I didn't know there were more than than sextil sextillion numbers in the alpha in the numerical alphabet, dude. Dude, getting that check, until I saw that check, getting that check from Brent for seven sextillion dollars <laughs> for nine nine non adectillion. <laughs> dude, big numbers have the craziest names. Uh, yeah, like okay, it's quadrillion, what? pentillion, hexillion. Septillion, pooptillion. Okay, <laughs> that has to be a number. If there's an infinite n- amount of numbers, there is a pooptillion. No, there's not because it starts following a format. And there's a fartillion. There's not. It starts yes, following. There a is. Fo- no, it's not. If it's infinite, it can't just follow the same formula. That yes, means it can. everything, everything in existence is a number. Napkin is a number. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What are you have saying? To, we have to make room no, for the numbers. That makes no sense. It starts following a pattern where it'll just use a bunch of stems over and over again. There's not. It's not. Not every what, word is going to be a number. It's going to be septoctutlut gugmillion. Is that going to be a number? Is that what you're talking about? Quinvigintillion. Pooptillion is a number. <laughs> I promise you, it's not. Sex decalard is a number. That check I got from for dude. Sex if decalard. sex decalard is a sex number, vigintillion. Pooptillion is definitely Trey vigintillion. <laughs> Wait, like Trayvon? Trey vigintillion. Trayvon. Hey, what's up? It's Trey vigintillion. <laughs> Sounds like one of those football player names for a college football team that Key and Peel would do. Sex decillion, quindecillion, undecillion, duodecillion, quadrillion. Damn, dude. Aren't stars, aren't there aren't there names like aren't there over a quadrillion stars? That's a big fucking number. Do you think anyone will ever be a quadrillionaire? I'll be a poop tillionaire. <laughs> What's the okay? How many zeros is poop tilling? What is three mega mega Google Plex times? They're mega Google Plex <laughs> isn't a number. You're making up numbers. Ten trillion times one hundred thousand billion to the that's not a number. <laughs> I can tell you what a number is called if you give me a real one. Yeah, I know it's called poop tillion. <laughs> it's a shit ton. I'm telling you, if you got a if you got like what like two poop tillion if you got if you were two poop tillionaire, you would be able to buy our universe. From who? <laughs> From <laughs> God's gonna be like, oh yeah, that money. You can just buy it. People buy stars. You can just buy stuff. They don't buy stars. <laughs> they give their dumbasses and give money to some dude that's like, yep, you own it. <laughs> Thanks for the money. No, if I buy a star, Matt, it's my star. I bought that giant fucking fireball, my man, and I named it. No dirt, like like no shade <laughs> on anyone that's bought a star. But I, I, it's the funniest scam to me. It's like, dude, give me money, and that star's yours. That <laughs> yeah. that thing a billion light years away. It's all yours. It is yours, dude. It's your star. Meanwhile, he sold the same star to like twenty six <laughs> people. You can go take a spaceship and visit your star. You can live on your star if you want. I'm gonna buy you a fucking star, Ryan. Dude, I'm gonna should, buy our podcast. You should a star. buy me a dead star so I can live on it. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy Super Mega Cast a star. Make the sh- only podcast. Make sure it's star. pooptillion, uh, seven pooptillion light years away. Can we buy a star and name it Poop. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's done that. Can we, can we name it Big Farts? Can I name my child Poop? No, not legally. Poop McGee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hit my head on the wall. I could definitely do that. No, you can't. I could. No, you you legally cannot name your child an obscenity. Well, you know what, what about that's fucked Crotch up? Rocket McGee? The, the government. I think that's where the government has stepped one foot too far into our personal liberties. If you can't name your child Crotch Rocket McGee, that's fucked up. It's your child. Buy what about star. Acorn? Can I name you him? You can name your kid Acorn. I think there's legitimate laws against profanities. Though. How about Areola? Yeah. Areola McGee. Areola. You could, or you could do Ariel. 
Make your middle name La. And then McGee. Ariel La McGee. How about Little Man 2.5? Guess what? Uh, Should it, I name him that, Matt? <laughs> little Man 2.5. Why? Yeah. What's the point five? It's my kid. I get to name whatever I want. He? But why the point five? Maybe he's bigger than I thought he would be. <laughs> like Big Baby? <laughs> yeah. I fucking dude, I hate like that big baby. baby. I'm, not, I'm not even going to be candid about I hate that baby. I hate to see him on my timeline. I don't want to ever see it again. I think it's disgusting. Cut to mass figures holding the baby up in front of a video camera with a gun to its head. Matt Watson, we heard your cry. We are the clan of MW. Well, I certainly hope that people wouldn't kill a child because the funny YouTube man said he didn't like to see it on his timeline. Too late, Matt. You already said what you said, and then they shoot the child in the head. That's How do you feel, man? Horribly. You killed fat baby. It's that, you had fat baby killed. It's big baby, not fat baby. Not <laughs> I'm fat sorry. Oh. You know, apparently he, well, he's actually like three. They just shave him and put him in a diaper. So is he, he just is he is is he just a big? Oh, he's not fat. He's just a big baby. He's big. Is Dude. fat not a is fat not a thing anymore? No, fat's a thing. I'm Can looking people at one right be now. Fat? I'm looking at some fat right now. Thank, I know I am fat. Thanks. Twenty uh, percent off stars right now. Mean twenty percent off stars. <laughs> if I use code, EIP. how much do you think Brad Pitt costs? Dude, I can buy a star for $24. Hey, how much is Elijah Wood? You can't buy a person. You said I you said I could buy a star. <laughs> okay, Come on. I get it. Come on. Wow, you can buy the stars of the Zodiac constellation? How many fucking people have already done this? Okay, and you get a money back guarantee. What in case the I don't like my star? Yeah, you know, I've been looking at it lately. <laughs> Dude, binary you star. Know, I went to go visit it. It's not as bright as I thought it was. Binary star. Matt and Ryan from Super Mega. <laughs> they oh. they orbit each other, and there's there's red and blue ones. How much is a star, Matt? How much how much does a star cost? How much is, does a star go? Twenty four ninety. Twenty four dollars and ninety cents. Yes, that's the that's the that is the traditional star gift pack. By choosing the traditional, I'm on CosmoNova.com. So you're telling me all these rich people be buying islands for like billions of dollars when like. They could go off, be conquering the universe and buying stars. Okay. You mind if I buy a, a star real quick? Don't buy a star. It's 24 bucks, dude. Don't buy a star. Don't give that person money or that company money. I, we, get a, it, we get a certificate if, in the mail if, that says we own a star. If it goes, if it goes to like a reputable business or if it goes into research yeah, or Cosmo science. Nova. What? Choose the brightness of the star. Okay, normal star can be seen in small villages with minimal light. For $15 more, I can choose a bright star. Can We're be in seen L.A. In we'd have to have a bright star. We all have to get very bright. Or we could choose a custom star. Oh, can we customize our star? Can, we, can, we give, can, we give it a, can we give it a... Can we choose hairstyles? No, but I can look at a map and I can pick which star I want. How come I can't custom create my star? They can't just go make a star for me? All right, I chose a very bright star. Name of the star. We're not buying a star. It's not real. It's not our star. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm going to have a fucking certificate that will say it's my star. <laughs> it, who cares? I can, What about a marriage certificate? That says that you're married. Yeah, but that's legally binding. This is legally binding. No, it's not. Yes, it you is. You can't fucking buy a star. Yes, I, what, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> you can't fucking decide. Like, that's the that's where you know humans are so fucking, like, stupid. You know, we're gonna go buy stars? No. We're not buying stars. That's not anyone's star. Dude, but for 20... You're gonna go take the star for a walk? For 20, for 20 bucks, I can add a, a 0.75 inch thick black frame to my certificate. <laughs> oh, come on. I can get a physical copy of the star map, too. Could you imagine, like, another alien out there? Like, another alien species? Like, buy a planet. So, technically, we're just some, like, douchebag's planet. He technically owns us. Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> no! I'd honor it. <laughs> you know what, Ryan? Yeah. I'm going to name this star Ryan McGee. All right? How's that? How's that make you feel? I mean, that means you're going to have a certificate that says a star is named Ryan McGee. I'm getting my own Ryan McGee star. <laughs> Just so you know out there, there's a, you look up at the night sky, 40 years after I'm dead, and you say, you know, up there in the heavens is Ryan McGee. That's not what happens when you buy a star. You don't buy a Who owns the stars? I own the stars. Whose stars are they to sell, man? I own it now. Whose star are they to sell? Like, who? 
Like, who owns the star first off, right? This is a transaction. You're buying the star. Who's, who has the star? Who who has the star to start off with, Matt? Okay. God made the stars. No, is God, he, is, God is, made is this he, website. Did he, did he set up the website? Technically, yes, because God made everything, so God technically made the website, so... Touche, <laughs> motherfucker. You're buying a star from God? I'm putting my billing details in it. Hold on. Dude, this person didn't have to do anything. Imagine, like, there are people growing crops, having to buy seeds, put time into, like, nurturing it from the ground well, up. Maybe they should and sell this stars. Dude, this dude just goes, yup, that's my star. I'll sell it for 30 bucks. Come on. No. I, well, I, I didn't spend 30 bucks, Ryan. <laughs> I got the certificate. And I and I chose a brighter star. Why can't you just you say it's so your bright. star without like he said they're his stars? Why can't you don't even have to buy it? You can just go. That's the Ryan McGee star. I named that. That's my star. That's what he did. That's what he did. It's not official. That's what he did. It's not official. That's what he fucking did. No, it's he not. Goes, Those are my stars. They don't have names yet. I'm gonna sell them to people for twenty four, whatever the fuck it is. Don't buy a star, Matt. Proceed to PayPal. Stop! You're Dude, wasting money. I want to get the Ryan McGee star. I want to be able to own your star. I'm going to own your star, what do you too. You mean you're going to own my star? You don't own shit. You own a plaque. You're just paying for the plaque. That's no, I'm paying more. for the fucking star. No, you're not. Please, Hold on, and, dude. Uh, PayPal, I'm getting my password. Don't waste your money. That's why it's aggravating. I don't want you to waste your money. Dude, I'm wasting my money just to, just to show you, just to teach you a lesson. You could buy, like... A bunch of McDonald's with that. You oh yeah, a that's not a waste of money. You a bunch of McDonald's. You're feeding yourself at least. You're with shit. Yeah, with no, shit. Instead, but at least it now keeps I you now going. hold on. Now I instead of oh I could I could put a bunch of uh, cancerous shit in my body, or I can look up at the night sky with my son two decades from now and say, <laughs> see that? That's Ryan <laughs> McGee. <laughs> Dude, you're setting me up to die soon. You could already be dead. You're setting me up to die before you even get this plaque because the thing is, I'm going to die, then the plaque's going to come to remind you of my death. Well, let's not. You're putting bad energy in the universe. You're putting bad energy by saying that. I never even thought of no, that. No, that's the way these things work. You make a move. What do you mean my order was canceled? Oh. Uh, Look. Oh, why did it cancel my order? Oh, sorry. We uh we ran out of stars. We got to go collect more. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm buying it. Says, it. I, podcast, I wish I'm on doing that it. site it would say our stock is low on stars. Like, hurry up, like, lo low on stars. Can you buy? Can you buy stars on Amazon Prime now? It's like only two left. Like you can order. It we'll restock by stars. May fifteenth. Well, I'm gonna buy a star. It's sorry. It, I don't want to enter all my details <laughs> on a podcast. After the podcast, I'll do it though. And I'm gonna own my, Ryan McGee. I'm gonna own, <laughs> so I can be like, yeah, I own. You can Ryan just McGee. own it now by going. That's Ryan McGee. That's my star. Could they technically sell the sun on one of those websites? It's a star, like. You want it's premium. It's gonna cost you more. What's what do you think the United States thinks it owns the sun? Or do you think any world leaders like they think like the world like Earth owns the sun or there's any ownership of the sun? Or do you think most leaders are okay with knowing that it's just kind of like this ball of fire that is in the sky? That's interesting. Or do you think they're like, no, uh, we own the moon because they tr people tried to own the fucking moon. Well, you, Trump actually signed an executive order just uh, in the last few weeks allowing the United States to claim the moon for mining. Mining for what? M rocks. For moon rocks instead of the <laughs> gift shops in Myrtle Beach. Uh, but there's going to definitely be a big fight over like who owns the moon at some point. Who owns the sun? But I wonder if that's going to happen. We're going to because we need to steal the helium for our balloons. We're running low on helium. Helium <laughs> is one of the most uh, 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 fleeting resources on our planet. Michael, we're we're going to run out of helium one day. James Cameron is going to James Cameron is going to want to hold a, a birthday party for like one of his children. And he's going to realize there's no more helium in balloons, which leads him on to go on an expedition to create the world's first space shuttle that can survive the heat and intensity of the sun. So he can go collect. He's going to go inside the sun to get the helium <laughs> for his kid's birthday party. <laughs> yep. And he's going to make a movie about it and well, everything. No, pro easy, there's an easy solution. If he doesn't want to get burned, he should just go at night. I <laughs> guess <laughs> <laughs> a little laugh would be nice. I, 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 I'll throw in some laughs there. Here, watch this. <laughs> now you laugh a little. Ha. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll put all of those laughs in there. It'll also man. include us recording them. Thank you, man. Yeah, that, that makes me feel really good. 
the yeah, I, I guarantee that busted someone's side out there. I One, bet you it busted someone's nut as well. So, yeah, it probably did. I'm sure there's people that are jerking off while they're listening, but like not on purpose. They just left it on while they're while they're sp- you better their, finish. Their Come on, stick. surprise, Matt. What a conversation that is doesn't bleed well in from the last one. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. You asked me that already, though. So why don't you actually fucking think of something to talk well, about? Well, maybe you felt different, and I was just I was just asking. Well, I'm feeling pretty good knowing that uh, by tonight I'm going to own my very own star named Brian <laughs> McGee. <laughs> don't waste money, dude. Don't waste money. It's $98, dude. 98 It's 98 fucking dollars. That was 20-something. That's where they get you, dude. You got it. Then you want to. You want. You're like. Well, see, I want a brighter. See star. what this company did was smart. They they bought stars for twenty cents per star, and now they're selling this. They're upcharging stars for like a hundred bucks. I am sorry. Buying stars is so fucking stupid. <laughs> even though I'm gonna do it, but because you're realizing that it means nothing, I, you're not doing I, anything but giving your money away to someone. Can I use business money? Can I use some company money for that? No. You're giving your money away to someone if you buy a star. Ryan. Unless it goes to like scientific let, research or like goes to like a museum maybe. Money. That would be funny. Let you know, me use company if they, money. If some museums use it as a way to advertise like, hey, you know, you I can buy a I think I should be allowed to use super mega fund company museum. funds because we talked about it on the podcast. So I think I should. No. I sh- if the IRS. No, if you're, if you're quote unquote buying a star, then you're using your own wallet. Yes, I am quote unquote buying a star. And I'm going to use the company money because- it's named you're Ryan not, McGee. No, you're not going to use the, the IRS anybody. comes knocking on the door and says, what is this? You purchased a star named Ryan McGee. Saying, yeah, it's for the business. No. And I'll show it. them the fucking certificate and they'll say, oh, yep, you're, you're right. You're spending you want- $100 of company money on a on nothing, on the air. I want to buy a star and then I want to fucking, I want to take my certificate to the courthouse and be, and I just want to ask like, what standing does this have? And no they standing. Say I'm going to go see <laughs> those motherfuckers. I'm going to say, so you're telling me I didn't actually buy a star? <laughs> Are you, what? What do you mean I don't own it? Do you even know where the star is? What do you mean I don't own four quadrillion cubic meters of, of burning gas <laughs> seven billion light years away? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it did go, wait, what? Please don't tell no, me. No, it did go through. through. It did go through. Did you buy it a star? It went through. Please don't tell me you your star is in the sky. Did you use company money? No, I used my own debit card. Look, prove it. Your star is in the sky. I don't know. It said canceled. I don't know why it went through. Matt, your star is registered. Congratulations. Your star, now officially named Ryan McGee, shines in the sky. <laughs> now let us fulfill your products. In the next uh, email, you'll receive your tracking number and confirmation that your package has been shipped. And you can find your digital certificate in the attachments. Ryan? I would like you to, uh, <laughs> I'd like you to take a little look at something for me, okay? This is ridiculous. Hey, do, do you need to put on your glasses? You bought nothing. You, you literally just threw money into take, a furnace. Take a, uh, take a look uh. at that. Take a look at that. <laughs> oh my God. I want to read that. <laughs> it's, it's a certificate for a star. Read it, read it, read it out loud to me. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on your face. The certificate proves that the star named Ryan McGee (laughs) with coordinates RA 17 hours, 49 minutes, 51 seconds, December, negative, the degrees, whatever, (laughs) was registered in the database of star register. Uh, Constellation Scorpius registered. God. See? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Congratulations, you own a star. Oh, it's so you Come look on. like a real fucking jackass. <laughs> uh, <coughs> fuck. Here, I, I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna read out the coordinates for everybody so everyone knows exactly where in the sky. Ryan is. <laughs> so you can look up. You look up those... in the sky. <laughs> it's. it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's in Scorpius. Uh, okay, ready. <laughs> R A seventeen H forty nine M fifty one S December negative thirty seven degrees <laughs> two feet thirty five inches. <laughs> that's that's it. All right. Well, that's the star. Yeah, I I well I'm glad I don't understand how it said that I canceled my order and then like minutes later it's like thank you. <laughs> well, they can't be too picky about where the money comes from, right? Yeah. 
Well, in in three to four business days, I'll have an official framed certificate <laughs> that I will be hanging up in our office. <laughs> I hope it says you're the owner on the like. It does. It's emails. the same one. It says it says it says my name. It says I am the owner <laughs> of the Ryan owner. McGee of the star named Ryan McGee. So when you're driving home at night, just know there's a star out there with your name. You have a whole star named after you, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. I mean, it'd be really cool if you could, you know, maybe show your friendship back. By buying you a s- maybe buy me one even brighter. <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> yeah, maybe, my man, maybe. I'm gonna start buying everyone stars. <laughs> no. I feel bad because there's people out there that I'm that have bought stars, stars for like it's, significant and others. It's sweet. And, and it's, it's 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 a sweet sentiment, you it's, know? It's the sentiment. Like that, that's what it is. It's the sentiment. It, it makes it seem more grounded in reality when you have a certificate, you know? I, I, I think You're that, like, I bought a star. Yeah, and like <laughs> like giving This it, is mine. Because <laughs> there's someone's gonna be like, you know, Matt, I bought when, when my grandma was on her death, but I bought her a star in her honor. And I'm like, that's very sweet, and I don't want to downplay that. I like that. to think that she's living on that star and looking down from me. And I look up at that star, and I go, I miss you, grandma. Uh-huh. And the star just goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a very sweet sentiment. Yeah. And if and if someone, my mom's listening right now, like, she already bought me a star for next time I come home. And she's like, oh, okay. I, I would feel very sad. You can sleep easy knowing there's a burning ball of 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 hydrogen and helium out there that, that you bought mm-hmm. with real money. Who knew something that ginormous and amazing could just would be sold for a, a mere one hundred dollars? I'm I'm in shock right now. It's, it's, it feels good. Well, I guess. Uh, all the time we got today yeah so uh but go look up those coordinates go see if you guys can i'm i'm curious if people can actually like send us pictures of you looking up in the night sky and and you finding if if any of you can actually find like if you have a telescope with like a protractor tool shit whatever you whatever tools you fucking nerds use to look into the sky if you can find the star and take a picture i would love to i want to see ryan mcgee i want to see it (sighs) Yeah. I hope you don't die. Now. I hope I didn't just will something into existence. I, I don't think so. I mean, I did cut my thumb open this morning. What does that have anything to do with? I'm surprised I didn't mention it at all in this podcast, actually, until now. Do, do, do. That's the big cliffhanger. We're going <laughs> to name the podcast like something about waiting until the end, like, like Ryan's, Ryan did what to himself? <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, and then wait until the end. He's like, yeah, I cut my finger this morning. Yeah, just opening of the plastic wrap on, on carton of eggs pre-rolls oh so well that's what you get you little junkie see that's what happens when you use drugs you cut yourself it 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 sucks man it's my gaming thumb i I don't i can't record games right now because what that's your gay man thumb bye everybody (laughs) 